What's this experience been like through the past week or so, uh, attending your first pro camp here with the Manitoba Moose? Um, it's definitely pretty exciting. I've uh, never, never been at a pro camp before, so it's, uh, it's a new experience. Uh, it's great to be around the guys. Uh, they've been really helpful getting me going here, so uh, it's been pretty good. What's been the biggest difference uh, between OHL, practices with Barry, and so far training camp with the Moose? Uh, definitely the speed, yeah. It's a lot faster and it's a lot more intense. Um, every drill is a battle, so you just got to keep, uh, keep working hard. As one of the younger guys and guys who spent last season in the OHL, did you get the chance to know some of the other OHL guys on this team, like Declan Chisholm, Cole Perfetti? Um, not personally, but I definitely uh, remember playing against them. Um, Arthur sees my goalie last year, so it's, it's nice to have him around. How big of an inspiration on your career was your grandfather, Vic Hadfield? Of course, as uh, many people will know, he won a Stanley Cup with the Rangers, also has his number 11 retired. How big of an inspiration on your career was your grandfather? Uh, huge. He, uh, hockey's been, since he was in the NHL, he, hockey's been in my family uh, since as long as I can remember. So it's, he's definitely been a huge help and a huge inspiration for me. What's some of the things that he's teached and passed down to you? Uh, just to keep working hard. You know, um, people are going to say stuff, but if you just keep your head down, keep working hard, good things will happen. What are some of the things you've learned with the Moose coaching staff so far? I, again, it's really difficult to sort of build relationships with COVID-19 and all the protocols that are in around the room and stuff like that. But what are some of the, the biggest tips and biggest things you've learned so far here at Moose Camp? Uh, definitely just to, just to never quit, you know, keep battling hard. Um, just kind of things like that. Look, keep doing the little things. Those are help out. Uh, what was this offseason like for you as well? You know, with the COVID-19 pandemic, like I was saying earlier, a lot of things changed. It might have been difficult to get ice, but what was it like for you? It was great. I had um, a lot of guys uh, helping me out this summer, uh, getting me stronger, getting me faster. Um, it's definitely more of a challenge than, uh, than past summer, just due to COVID and then stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I had a pretty good summer. And uh, final question for you, but what are you most looking forward to with the AHL season, hopefully starting here in Canada in the new future? What's the what's the most important thing you're looking forward to, I guess? Uh, just to get out there and play. You know, I've been, uh, the OHL season last year got canceled in, in March, so it's it's been a while since I played a game. So uh, just to get out there and play and just get out there and skate with the guys, it's it's been great.